Yo, what up, YouTube? I'm going to talk to you real quick about the um, the pick and the thumbnail to this video. And uh, what it shows is uh, two police officers um, with a man under arrest, two horseback officers, they're walking a man on a leash, right, walking him down the street on a leash. And, um, of course, there's a lot of uproar about the pick because... It reminds people of the days of chattel slavery, right? When men were property. Let me see if y'all can see that right there. You see what's going on in this pic? You see the officer, the, one of them is on horseback there, and they're leading the man by the leash, right? Now, when I originally saw the picture, I thought that maybe the leash was around his neck because it's, it's not the clearest photograph, right? But, uh... What is explained is that the man is handcuffed behind his back and that the leash is attached to the handcuffs. But nevertheless, you know, it's very reminiscent of the days of slavery, the days when black men were white men's property. And um, then I want to I want to talk to you real quick about the the uh, police's explanation of what's happening in the picture. Right. Because, um, you know, I believe a picture is worth a thousand words. And it's going to hard, be hard for you to explain to me how this is appropriate or professional in any type of way. So here, here, here's what the police department of Galveston offered as an explanation. They were called to a scene where a man was uh, reportedly trespassing. They warned him several times. They wind up handcuffing him. And they were transporting him from the scene of the crime to a staging area around the corner where, where he would then be put in, in, in a police vehicle, right? Now, here's my thing. Why isn't the car coming to him, right? Because, because they, they, they also said, you know, the statement also said, the officers had no malicious intent. They were not trying to be malicious. They were just using this technique, you know, to, to transport the man to the vehicle. Okay, well... Like I said, man, how come the vehicle can't come to him? Why, why, why do the horses got to walk, you know, uh, more than when, when there's a car right around the corner, okay? And here's the other thing, man, about the intent. Hey, listen, man, anytime I have to use a leash on a human being, if that's one of the options, immediately I'm going to some better option. There has to be a better option, Right? than to use a leash to transport a human being to somewhere, right? It, you, you know, like, how uncouth and unprofessional are you that there's some cars right around the corner that could come get the man? But, you know, it seems to me you would rather walk the man down the street on the leash, right? You know, and, and we know that a lot of times police officers, they're very power hungry, have superiority complexes, things of this nature. We know from uh, the history uh, of um, of uh, black people's interactions with police officers that, you know, they had these complexes and they're on these power trips. So when you say that the officers have no malicious intent, man, you, 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 you know, it's a very naive statement, right, to believe, oh, man, they didn't mean absolutely nothing. How about this, man? Let me ask you this. Would they have did this to a white man? Can you picture these officers with a white man on a leash? I, 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 I don't think so. I don't think so, man. Listen, man, the, 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 you know, the, the uh, racial undertones in this country, the in-your-face racism in this country... It's getting a little bit out of hand anytime people feel comfortable putting a black man on a leash, you know, and ride on horseback and walk the man by the leash. It's absolutely ridiculous. And to add to the story, according to the man's family, he's a, he's a homeless person and has mental health issues. All right, so humiliate people uh, who have already been humiliated in life. life. Life's circumstances have been humiliating, you know, to a man that doesn't have any place to lay his head. So let's take it one step further, put him on a leash and walk him down the street in, in front of the public. 
I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, this is the Gavelston police. Um, this man's name, uh, who is being transported, his last name is Neely. Right? He has a name. He is a person. He deserves respect. And um, it's absolutely ridiculous what happened to him. And uh, I want to know, Donald Neely, 43 years old, Donald Neely, is the man that they did this to, put the leash on and walked him down the street. So listen, man, I I think it's ridiculous. I think it's malicious, even though they denied that it, it was ma malicious in intent. Uh, like I said, man, the second you tell me that one of the options is walking a man down the street in a leash, I'm immediately thinking of a better way. Oh, bingo! It's police cars right around the corner. Why don't we have them come get them? Seems simple enough to me. But I want to know what you think, man. Get in the comment box, man. Share your thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the uh, Mind Spray, man. And I want to say peace to you and your family, man. Peace.